Well, welcome everybody. My name is Sarah Jane Abbott. I am the Director of Marketing at the Evanston Chamber of Commerce, and we are doing our water cooler chats. We're in person now, thanks to Byline Bank sponsoring us, and we're here sitting on a pile of wood talking to Bob Fisher of Evanston Lumber. Tell me about this business. How long have you been here? Well, the lumber yard has been here since turn of the century. And um, I'm actually fourth generation in lumber business, That's third so cool. generation on this property. Yes. My grandfather bought the business in 1948, and I, my dad went into business with him, and I came in after a short stint in college. Wow. So this was what I always loved as a little kid. And you're like, I gotta come back and do this. And so what, what is your day like? What is the day-to-day -day of a, a lumber job, lumber? Well, I'm involved in the purchasing. I do all the lumber buying for the business. Okay. We also have a sister company in Lake Bluff, which is a window company that I run and manage. Okay. And um, my day-to-day -day is fun because it's so varied every day. <laughs> I might be solving some problems that a customer has with something at a job site. I might be ordering material for inventory. Okay, so what's happening with materials right now, with ordering, with construction? <laughs> I mean, I know, I know things are changing. What's, what's happening? Well, what COVID did was it threw our industry into a tizzy. And to make a long story very <laughs> short, prices are, we're at about four times what they had been uh, since a year ago. And it was really due to all of the lumber mills curtailing production mm -hmm. because they never anticipated with the number of jobs that were cut right. being busy. Wow. But the absolute opposite happened. Housing starts, permits were up. Mm -hmm. it, the, our market was really, really busy and it just put a huge crunch for right. supply and demand. Right. So the, the demand was there and the supply didn't exist. Wow. So it just drove prices to areas that it's never been. And it also made material very scarce. Right. It was very difficult to actually supply material. So what we would normally do with our customers, we do a lot of work with builders, right. high-end builders. And those guys actually, what, what they were doing was uh, locking in prices with me mm -hmm. and locking in the whole job. So okay. that was really twofold. It would lock in the price because right. the, si the sales cycle for us could be six months to two years when someone's building a large house, of course, of a course. large yeah. project. Yeah. So what I was doing was having them commit, right. going out and actually physically buying the lumber, bringing it in, and then holding it before they even had some of the foundations in the ground. Wow, they're lucky to have you. Well, I think... <laughs> I would never say it quite that way, but... So now you also have a relationship with ETHS. Tell me about that, because that's an amazing school, and you sponsor yeah. wood there? What you, the geometry program, right? Yeah, the construction, geometry and construction program with Matt uh, Kaiser. We got involved in that right when they started, and uh, we've been able to supply material there. I think they're on their sixth or seventh home. It's and incredible. I tried to get my son in there. It did not work, but I mean, it's an incredible um, yeah, what program. Yeah, what a routine for freshmen and sophomores to do right? geometry. Yeah, I mean, and math? No. Building a house? Yes. I mean, yes. It's been great because, you know, my hope is that that will inspire some of these kids mm -hmm. to move on into this, this world. This industry. Because this is a great world. Right. The trades, building, construction, carpentry. We've been talking about trades and these kids. They need... They need the skills. Well, it's, it's funny because I think of my own children and I think of even the fact that I've done a lot of building in my life. Mm. I think that they wouldn't have a clue because they never had a program like that. Right. But right. the tangible result with the Evanston program, it's been fun for me because I went to That's Evanston great. High School and cool was able to go through the carpentry, well, the building construction program, right. and we right. built tiny little models. Yeah, there's nothing compared to what they're doing. Yeah, now. seeing it's the incredible. tangible results of them actually building homes that people can move into and live in, it's it's really been it's a fun program experience. to support. And my vendors have been real helpful too, because I've reached out to them for donations for right. each of the homes. Oh my God, I, Evanston is so lucky to have you here. We are, we are. Now, and you're the only game in town, Evanston and 
Check yeah, there aren't out. many lumber yards left. It takes a lot of property, it takes a lot of inventory, a lot of moving pieces, except for this forklift, which is parked, but the other five <laughs> of them hopefully are driving around somewhere. We don't want to take a ride right now, do we? Well, thank you so much for your time today. You're this was wonderful to learn more about Evanston Lumber and come on by, right? Tell people to come. Absolutely. Check you out. Yeah. Thanks for your time. A real lumber yard. <laughs>